May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, time to celebrate the rich history of those communities, a history that runs deep in an iconic and beloved fixture on Route 1 in Saugus. Of course, we're talking about Kowloon. It triggers some of the best memories for so many people. And new on 5, Maria is back now, and you got to sit down with the family behind this local treasure, Maria. I did. It was my honor, really, because the whole thing started with these beautiful people behind me, William and Madeline Wong. Sadly, Mr. Wong passed in 2011, but Mrs. Wong remains the proud matriarch of this family. At 94 years old, her life lessons to her children are the strong thread that keeps this incredible family together. Everybody's here. This is an incredible family. Everybody say your name. Linda. You don't need to say your age. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank who's, you. Who, who's next? Donald. Donald. Bob. Stanley. Lisa. Andy. Yay! And the matriarch. <laughs> Madeline Wong. <laughs> Mommy, Mommy, Madeline Wong, Mrs. Wong to us, people who have come to this restaurant for so many years. You're a fixture here, a staple here. You're a legend. And we thank you for creating this beautiful family with your husband and this beautiful restaurant. <laughs> thank you, Marie. It's so <laughs> nice to see you. You look beautiful. What was it about your parents that made them, in your mind, so special? Everything. Their care, their love, their dedication. They just did everything for their kids. And that's why we're all here, because that meant so much to my mom and dad, family. And, and you agree with that? Yes, because they were a team, my mom and dad. Right, and my dad was the support, followed my mom, spoke Chinese when she sold insurance, helped her, and my mom was the bookkeeper, waitress here. And she yeah. worked at John Hancock. And yeah, yeah, John Hancock. My dad said, I want two children because that's how many you can oh, afford. Okay, wait, two children. <laughs> yes. um, someone's not good at math <laughs> because we have a lot more than well, two. My mom was very good at math because she said, I want a dozen. Oh, no! So, so that's why she got her six that she really wanted. She would always say to me, you know, I love you the best. And so I always thought, oh, I was the special one in the family. I love you the best. One day, my brother and Stanley and I were talking, and I kind of like was bragging, like, well, mom says she loves me the best. And Stanley looks at me and goes, whoa, wait a minute. She says she loves me the best. And we were probably, I don't know how old we were, seven, eight years old or something like that. So then we went up to my mother and said, wait, what's going on here? She says, sometimes when you're good, I love you the best. Oh, and when so you're politician. good, I love you the best. That's <laughs> so, where Donald got it from. <laughs> so, uh, so we understood that, okay, this was a, a, you know, a little scam she was playing, but she just wanted everybody to feel important. Sometimes I would stay up late for them to come home, and one night they came back, and they were dancing in the kitchen. And I said, what are you doing? They, they learned the twist from Chubby Checker that <laughs> night. So they were dancing in the kitchen. So these are the memorable things that you yeah. sticks in your head and you say, wow, it's just amazing what the parents have done. Yes. You go on trips, you'll wear a Kowloon shirt and people will know, oh, Kowloon, right. you know? It's unbelievable what they've built up. Right. It's just so much love they showed us all, all the time. I mean, we are never short of love and uh, she would always make us feel special. It really, you know, each and every one of us was felt special. I just look at her as she's a superwoman, a pioneer, um, a loving wife to my dad for 62 years. She always had love for everybody. Mrs. Wong, who is your favorite child? <laughs> oh no, she's not doing it. She won't do it, she won't do it. All of them, right? Yes, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. You have raised a beautiful family. Thank you for letting me sit here and be with you all. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. It was, that was, what you saw is what you get. They're so love. genuine. There was so much love. And really, think about it. Their parents worked so hard mm -hmm. and they were at the restaurant all the time and they were building this empire. And yet, listen and to what fun. those kids are yeah. saying and having fun. Dancing in the kitchen. A, a lot of you want to know what the future of the Kowloon holds. Bobby Wong told us today that the family is making plans for the next chapter in their lives. And they said that going forward in their 72nd year in wow. business, a potential development and a downsized Kowloon are on the drawing board, along with pursuing other potential business opportunities.
opportunity. So certainly we'll keep you posted on that. There will that. always hey. be a Kowloon. Yeah, though well, that's what they're that's saying. Some okay. Form. And yeah. in our hearts, that's yeah. for sure. Yes. That's Thank okay. you for bringing us there. Thank you, Maria. Thanks.